Welcome to My Off-Grid Adventures. I'm Frank and it's another beautiful day here in Michigan today. As you can see, I'm at one of my favorite stores, the Home Depot, picking up some wood for the sandbox that I'm building for my two grandsons. It's going to be a six by six foot square sandbox. I'm about to pick up 25 50 pound bags of sand to put in this sandbox. I also already have a cover and I've got some toys for inside of it so the grandson should have a really good time with this. I hope you're about to see a pain-free and relatively easy setup of a six by six foot sandbox. So please stick with me and let's see how this goes. This is what we have to work with today. Just about everything that we're gonna be using is in the back of my car. We have 25 50 pound bags of play sand from Home Depot. We have a six by six foot sandbox cover that we purchased from Amazon. We have heavy duty landscape fabric to put underneath of the sand. And then down below here, you can see we have the four boards that are ready to go for uh, the sandbox itself. Uh, now, those were two 12 foot, two by 10 boards that cost $25 each at Home Depot. I had them cut in two different ways. One of them I had cut into two pieces of six foot and the other into two pieces that were five foot, nine inches. Since the width of the two by 10 is one and a half inches, when they're screwed together, then it will end up being six foot by six foot exactly. So that saved me having to cut a little bit at home. I'm glad they were able to cut that for me at the store. So it's all ready to be assembled. Everything that you see here costs about $240 with tax. I'm gonna have a couple of toys that I'm gonna put in the sandbox that combined cost about $55. So uh, that would have added a little bit to it, but overall, not too bad for a sandbox this size and uh, we're about to get started with it now, so let's get going. This is where I'm going to be placing the sandbox, and since this is an area that just had a couple of trees pulled up by the roots, I first need to prep it a little bit with my tractor. Just wanna clear off some of this rough, uh, this rough top and get a little bit more ready to go. But for most of you who are using the sandbox in your yard, this is a step you won't need, but uh, I do have to take care of this before I get it ready. And then I'm going to mark out the exact place where I want this to be. I'll mark it with some orange marking tape. And then I'll lay down the landscape fabric, throw the sand on top of it, and then we'll start assembling the wood frame. I'm not sure that I need to use the marking paint. All right, it's time. It's time now to back the car up and lay down the landscape fabric, and then drop the sand, and then we'll bring the wood out. We got four feet wide by fifty feet, so it should be plenty to do maybe even two layers of this. I don't have any other projects I need to save this for, so the more the more heavy duty layer that's under there, the better in my opinion. I'm gonna give this a little bit, uh, a little bit of overlap. I can always cut it later, but I definitely want it to be completely under every bit of it, so. Put this under one of the rocks. Couldn't do that with marking paint, so glad I used the rocks instead. I'm just going to plan on this taking two layers. And it'll have a little bit of overlap too in the center. Normally I would probably put the um, wood down first and then fill, the, fill it in with sand and put the woods underneath the sand. I don't want them 
handle everything twice. I'm glad that I have a DeWalt cordless vacuum cleaner because there's probably a bag's worth of sand in my truck right now. I had two other people help me load this at Home Depot. I'm glad I did. I don't like having to unload it myself. This is one of the best vacuums I've ever had. Instead of just screwing the boards into each other and then having the ends split and become a weak joint, I'm going to take some of the scrap 4x4 that I have, put it on the inside, and just screw in a little bit deeper in. And uh, hopefully that will keep it from splitting. I still need to pre-drill it though. All right, well, we're done with the frame now. Kind of. I'm going to put some angled boards on each corner just to kind of reinforce it and also to make a comfortable little seat for the adults who are watching the kids and who may also want to join in and have a little fun with them. So let's, uh, let's add a couple of boards or actually we'll add four boards. All right. So we've got these four triangles. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a extra support and a place to uh, place to park it. I'm going to pre-drill these as well. For this, I'm just using basic exterior wood screws. Also purchased these at Home Depot. They're three inches. My grandsons are going to love this so much. My four kids, they loved their sandbox. We had a similar one as this. And they loved it. It was one of the things I think they played with the most consistently as kids. By the way, I am going to use my sander to smooth out all the rough edges when I'm done with this. And then we'll cut open the bags of sand and we'll uh, put the toys in here. And we'll test out the cover. And we'll be, we'll be done. It really wasn't that part of a project. Should I say that yet? I'm not done. That probably wasn't smart. I didn't include the lag bolts or screws in my quote or estimate for this whole project. They do add up. Maybe even another $40. So you could say this whole project's closer to $300 without the toys. Worth it. Okay, let's sand it, smooth it out, and then we'll put the bags of sand in there, or we'll open the bags of sand. <laughs> I'll grab a razor. And then we'll start opening these bags. I say we. I wish you were here with me so you could each grab a bag and we could make short work of this. Oh yeah, the seats work good. I like it. And I'm sure my grandsons will too. I didn't perfectly level this. I don't have a level with me at the time. But it's a kid's sandbox. I want it to be as good as I can have it, but... I'm not too picky if it's just off a little bit on how level it is, and I don't think anyone else will notice. I'm sure I'll get some comments on how that would have been a best practice, and 
I probably should have, but I want to get this job done and I'm, I'm sure it's good enough. So I've got this Milwaukee Fastback. It's like a switchblade with a razor at the tip. And then it has some other tools on it too, like some screwdrivers and stuff. I really like this. It's one of my favorite tools. I use it a lot. I have another Milwaukee screwdriver I love, like a 26 in one. Milwaukee makes some good stuff, even though I'm more of a DeWalt guy. Can you tell I'm stalling? <laughs> this is 1,250 pounds of sand that I'm about to open and move. I think this is going to be as hard as everything else I've done so far, but deep breath and go. Oh, fresh sand. You got to love fresh sand. I used an online calculator to determine how much sand I needed. And this is supposed to be about five inches of sand for this size of a sandbox. So we'll see. Oh yeah, reminds me of being a kid myself. Good stuff. What do you think? Do you think this is gonna be enough? Too much? It almost seems like too much, but I don't want to take this back, so let's try to make it work. It scared me for a minute uh, when I was looking at the receipt. It said quick read, which is concrete. And I started to think, oh no, did I buy 1,250 pounds of concrete that I have to return? But they uh, broadened their brand to include sand. So thankfully it is sand. Oh, I'm thinking this is looking like about the right amount. All right, let's clean up the bags. These are the toys I got at Costco. It has a sister. bunch of little uh, shovels. So like almost anything Costco sells, styles, good quality and value. <laughs> Put the paints. Pops. Lots of toys. You're gonna love it. This toy, this little excavator, like you see in a lot of public parks, it was only $40 on Amazon, and I'm sure my grandkids will love it. So there you have it. Here's a fun little play area for the, for the grandkids and adults who like to pretend they're kids. Well, let's test out that cover. And the nice thing about this is it does come, into, come apart into two little pieces. So you can get that at a lower level to put the cover over it. It's a nice, uh, sturdy fabric. I like the color too. It has a drawstring around the edge. Handles. Again, this would be a better two-person job. But we'll do it. I am exhausted, so instead of figuring out where the drawstring is, I'm going to place these rocks at each corner to hold it in place. And then we'll uh, figure it out when we have some help. Well, that was fun, and it'll be a lot of fun for the family. So. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? That really does help my channel. And if you'd like to see more outdoor projects like this, please subscribe for more. We'd love to have you join us. Thanks, we'll see you next time.